Heavenly Father, our Lord and King, high and lifted up you reign, yet you know each of us by name. Lord, we gather here tonight to lift your name on high. You, O oh Lord, are worth of all our praise. You are the God who never fails to keep his promise. We thank you for you that in Jesus' life, death, and resurrection, we see your love, justice, mercy, and provision and victory. You are the God who lifts up those who are weighted down. You are the God who provides for your children. Our desire is to praise you as long as we live. You are the source of all true and lasting joy. We praise you for your power, which is beyond compare. We worship you for your wisdom, which is beyond understanding. You can meet all of our needs. We restore the brokenhearted and heal the wounded. Lord, we ask that you continue to reveal yourself to your people and in the building of your church against which the gates of hell cannot prevail. Lord, you are great and greatly to be praised. Fill our heart with love. Give us the peace that surpasses understanding. Show yourself mighty tonight. Reveal yourself in every word spoken, every song, every prayer tonight. And we will ever be careful to give you all the praise and all the glory for your amazing grace. In the strong name of Jesus, amen. The scripture this evening is found in the New Testament book of John, chapter 14, verse 13, and John chapter 15, verse 16. I'll be reading from the King James Version. Chapter 14, verse 13 reads, And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Now, chapter 16, 15, and verse 16. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever you shall ask of the Father in my name, that may give that he may give it you. Amen. In the morning when I rise, in the morning when I
God that unlocks the heaven door for me. It unlocks the heaven door for me. Praise is the key. Prayer. That's the key. Amen. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Lord, we know your word is a lamp unto our feet. We know, oh God, your word go forth and it shall not return void, but achieve that which you rightly purpose. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Once again, my brothers and sisters, a very brief word from the Lord. Lord, have placed a, a word on my heart, a meditation on my spirit that we can all uh, meditate on. And so picking up on our theme, prayer and work, uh, there are unifying scriptures I would like to share tonight for our meditation on the subject that the Father will be glorified, that the Father may be glorified. <clears throat> to help us appreciate uh, this point that the Father may be glorified, uh, I have three points I would like to make. <clears throat> and so if someone will put these three points in the chat, I appreciate that. And as Berean Knights, uh, we search the scripture to see what Brother Bridges said is true. My God, amen, amen, amen. Search the scripture. So his point one is that it is God's desire that we will be like the sun. Amen. It is God's desire that we will be like the sun. Mm -hmm. Number two, it is Jesus' desire that we will do greater works. Amen. I say it again. Point two. It is Jesus' desire that we will do greater works. And the final point is we have been redeemed to glorify God the Father, my Lord. We have been redeemed to glorify God the Father. For our focal verse was read in our hearing from John chapter 14, verse 13. Uh, here we find our Lord and Savior just hours away from the cross. And so here we are along with the disciples gathered around our Lord as he faced the cross. And he says this pointed words to us and to his disciples. He starts off in verse 13 by saying, and, and whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do that the Father may be glorified in the Son, my Lord. Uh, someone say that the Father be glorified. Come on, that the Father be glorified. Amen. Uh, <clears throat> our verse starts with uh, uh, what I call a conjunction, and uh, this whole that point right there. We'll get back to that and. But first, let's talk about that first point, that, uh, that it is God's desire that we will be like the sun. It is God's desire that we be in the image of the sun. Uh, our Lord tells us in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, that he said, let us make humanity, let us make man, let us make woman in our own image and our own likeness. From the very beginning, from the very beginning of our existence, God desired us to be in the image of the sun. Amen. Oh, amen. On another occasion, God said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. And you find that in Matthew chapter 17, verse 5. Uh, not only is God pleased with the son, he tells us to hear him. In other words, he tells us to follow him, to emulate him, to model our life after him. He said, this is my beloved son. Hear him. Amen, somebody. It ought to be our prayer that we will have a mind, not only a mind, but also a heart like Christ. My God, my God, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Jesus, who be in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made of himself no reputation and took on the form of a servant and having been made in the likeness of man, 
of uh, he and was founded in the fashion of a man. He humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and has given him a name that is above every name, and that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God. Amen. That is found in Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 to 11. This is my beloved son, God said. Uh, now, don't you want God to render that to you? This is my beloved daughter, who, who I am well pleased. This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Well, if you want God to render that to you, emulate the son. Amen, somebody. Point number two, it is Jesus' desire that we will do greater works. Amen. It is Jesus' desire that we will do greater work. Uh, <clears throat> now, let's get back to that conjunction and at, in verse 13 in our focal verse. And let's look at that. Obviously, the and connect to verse 12. In verse 12, it reads that in your Bible, I have a King James, and it the font is in red. And that means that Jesus is speaking. So he says here in verse 12, verily, verily, and I'll talk about that some other time too. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he also do, and greater works than these, greater work than these shall he do, because I go unto the Father. Jesus know the will of the Father. Jesus came in the name of the Father. Uh, Jesus further declared, I and the Father are one. Jesus knows what pleases the Father. And, and Jesus, and, and so the, the total sum of Jesus' mid existence was to do the will of the Father. Jesus never did for himself. Uh, it was always about others. He healed others. He prayed for others. He fed others. He taught others. He witnessed to others. He was there for others. He thirsted for others. He died for others. It, it was never about Jesus. It was all about the will of the Father. And the Father is willing that none should perish, but all should come to repentance. Jesus came to glorify the Father. And he tells us that the works that I do, that you shall do also, and greater work than these, greater work than these. And what are these? The work of Jesus. Amen. And here's our final point. Amen. We are redeemed to glorify the Father. We are redeemed to glorify the Father. So getting back to our focal verse, John chapter 14, verse 13, Jesus said, and I quote, and whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. Let us not misunderstand this promise from God. Whatsoever you shall ask in my name, not only is it a prayer, a petition, but it is sealed in the name of Jesus, which is above every name. However, it is not a, a, a request, it's not a prayer for material things. It's not for a bigger house or bigger car or a high paying job, amen. On the contrary, it is a prayer, a petition that would glorify God, amen. We were redeemed to glorify the Father. And how do we glorify the Father? Well, we just read the story of our Lord by emulating, by doing the great, doing great works doing great work than these by emulating the son. We hear Jesus in John chapter 15, 16, and that was read in your hearing as well. It says, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and I have ordained you that you shall go forth and bring forth fruit, and your fruit shall remain, and whatsoever you shall ask in my name, uh, the Father, he will give it unto you. That's John 15, 16. So if we, are to, if we are to do greater works and bring forth fruit that remain, perhaps our prayer ought to be, Lord, give me holy boldness that I may proclaim your name in, 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 in all that I see. 
that I may share others, oh God, I will share what you had done for me. Perhaps our prayer should be, Lord, give me confidence to not only stir up the gift, but to use my spirit to give for thy glory. Perhaps my prayer to be to the Lord, Lord, I, I am requesting, oh Lord, help, that help me to, uh, to loose this stronghold that hinders my prayer for you. We were redeemed to give God the glory. When we bring forth fruit in the form of feeding the hungry, visiting or calling or praying for the sick, don't take any credit. Tell them God did it. Amen. Uh, tell your doctor, uh, you didn't heal me. God did it. Well, I want to thank you, but I thank God for working through you, doctor. You didn't do it, doctor. The Lord did it. Uh-huh. When Uber, uh, when assessor ride, get you home safely. Tell the driver, thank you, but it was God. Give God the glory. Let folks know what God has done for you. It was God who has saved you and you not yourself. You have that. You've been saved not because you have been a good little girl or been a good little boy. You've been saved to so that you may share with others what God has done for you. We have been redeemed to glorify the Father. Point one: It is God desired that we be like the Son. It is Jesus desired that we do greater works. And three: We have been redeemed to be glorified the Father. Somebody say Amen. Somebody say Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Let Amen. Let us know before the throne of grace, knowing that God heareth us and cares for us. Let us render unto God a prayer of thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Father God, in the blessed name of our Lord and our Savior. Lord, we come tonight, O oh God, to render unto thee, O oh God, a prayer of hallelujah a prayer of thanksgiving, a prayer, oh God, that to say thank you for what you have already done. Lord, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. Indeed, oh God, your grace is sufficient. And for that, we say thank you. We thank you for deliverance, oh God. You have delivered us, oh God. And we say thank you for your deliverance. We thank you, oh God, for your healing power. You are indeed a healer, oh God. And so that we say thank you for healing. We thank you for keeping us, oh God. You have kept us through all this pandemic even up to this present hour oh god you are keeping us and we thank you for your multiple blessings we cannot count them one by one but we thank you oh god for what you have already done lord we thank you for your promise lord you promised never to leave Lord, to forsake us. And Lord, we thank you that you are faithful to your word. Lord, we thank you for your awesome power. We thank you, oh God, that you are sovereign, oh God, that nothing get by you. We thank you, oh God, that you've always been there for us. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for help and strength tonight, oh God. We thank you for shelter, oh God. We thank you, oh Lord, for our loved one. We thank you for the memories of our loved one. We thank you all for the gift of life, oh God. We thank you for carrying us through that you are a god who carry us through oh god and for that we say thank you we thank you oh god for knowing our down sitting and our uprising we thank you for knowing the number of hairs we have on our head we just thank you tonight for being god all by yourself we thank you for you for all that you have done but most of all oh god we thank you for your promise we thank you for our lord and savior jesus we thank you oh god for the holy spirit who can Continue to rest, rule, and abide. We thank you for your word. Without your word, we will be lost. But we thank you, O God, for taking us out of darkness and bringing us into your marvelous light. We thank you, O God, that you still love us. We thank you, O God, that you look past our faults and you saw our needs. We thank you, O oh God, that you were there when we were crying. We thank you, O oh God, that you were there when we were hungry. We thank you, O oh God, we were there when we were unemployed. We thank you, O oh God, we were on our sick bed. You were there, you were working through the doctors, you were working through the nurses, and we say thank you, O oh God, for being ever so present. You promised us, O oh God, that you will never leave nor forsake, and we say thank you for keeping your promise. We say thank you, O oh God, for being always present in our life. We thank you, O oh God, for protecting our children. Thank you for protecting our husbands, our wives, and our, our, our loved ones. In the name of Jesus, 
We bless your name tonight, oh God, for what you have already done, oh God. We just thank you. If you don't do anything else, we say thank you for what you have already done. We exalt your name. We lift you up on high, oh God. We exalt thee. We magnify your name. We glorify you tonight, oh God, for all that you have done. Thank you for visiting us. Thank you for knowing us. Thank you, oh God, for forgiving us in the name of Jesus. We bless you tonight, oh God. We don't ask for anything but to give you all glory, give you all praise, and thank you for what you have already done in our lives. And thank you, oh God, for your promises. You promise, oh God, to never leave or to forsake. You know, you also promise anything that we ask in your name, that, the, that, you, that you will be glorified in the Son. We ask, oh God, that you will give us all that we have need of. Reveal unto us, oh God, the assignment you have for us, that we may indeed, oh God, do greater work for you, that you will be glorified with all who see us, that they will ask, oh, what is the hope that is in you? Then we will say that Jesus did it, that God did it. Lord, we give you praise tonight. We thank you, oh God. Give us strength that we may indeed do greater works and that our greater works will glorify you, oh God. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen again. To God be the glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you.